Hello everyone, Chris of Christ all. Uh, today we will talk about uh, a book which is made by uh, Ayan Harisi, uh, Harisi Ali. Uh, uh, she is an ex-Muslim. I'm happy for her that she left Islam. Uh, but you know, it's it's uh, uh, many people believe that if someone is an ex-Muslim, it means he knows Islam. Actually, the most ignorant people about Islam is the Muslims. And this is why they are Muslims. <clears throat> because if they know how stupid Islam is, they will not stay Muslims. However, this rule will not stay on her because she is out of Islam already. So for sure she is smarter and she is more educated. And this is why she decided to leave Islam. But yet, you know, being an ex-Muslim, uh, coming out of uh, Islamic background doesn't make you uh, really knowledgeable about the religion. <clears throat> Uh, I understand that the media can make your uh, your book very popular in one second. Uh, simply, if uh, the Fox News have interviewed with me now, um, my book will fly. Uh, if not, it's going to be hiding between shelves. Uh, so the media here play a big a big uh, role because I'm looking at her books. I don't see really any knowledge in her books. Actually, the name of her book, uh, Islam Need Reformation is a very wrong idea because that's mean you don't understand what Islam is about. How you can reform something very ugly and uh, bad like Islam. Uh, if you go inside the book, I did not buy the book and for me uh, there's no need for me to buy it actually uh, because uh, I'm not going to read the book, will not teach me anything anyway. Uh, uh, one Islam, three uh, set of Muslims. I'm not sure what does that mean, but there is no three sets of Muslims uh, because at the end of the day, all Muslims believe in the most basic things, which is the violence of Islam, uh, and their their stand of view uh, change depend in the, their population. As an example, uh, Ahmadiyya, they are very violent people, by the way, but you don't see them doing violence. Why? Because they are minority. But if the Ahmadiyya are the majority, you will see what the Ahmadiyya they would do. Uh, Ahmadiyya who speak in English is not the same people Ahmadiyya who speak in Arabic. As an example, Ahmadiyya in, uh, in uh, English uh, TV program, they will never teach that a man he can beat his wife, but in Arabic TV station, which they own, they will speak, yeah, you have the right to beat your wife. And actually, I called them in, that, in, the, in the program and I spoke with them uh, and I post uh, my, my phone call in, uh, in YouTube and they, uh, they complain right away, not even, uh, uh, not even half hour after I post the video in YouTube, they complain of copyright uh, to YouTube. Very cowardly behave those who they call themselves Ahmadiyya. Anyway, so you need to know that there is no Islamic sect in Islam exist now or in the past is against violence. No Islamic sect in Islam now in the past is against uh, uh, the, the, the law of apostasy, which means if someone leaves Islam will be killed. So when you speak about reformation, it's very funny. Then if we go deep in the book, actually, you will see the book speak about nothing. And I'm really, uh, <clears throat> I'm wondering how, how the book became uh, one of the best sellers in, in Amazon, maybe this week. Uh, I see really nothing, absolutely nothing. Speaking about Charlie and what happened in Charlie, this is the, the, the article of everybody who do not know Islam, really. Just to speak about a bunch of terrorists who attack and Islam is a, a not tolerance. This is something normal. You are not giving me... Uh, you are not sharing really a deep knowledge in Islam. Uh, so I believe that many, uh, many when, when they read books, they are driven by the media more than driven by knowledge. Because I, until now, like, this is maybe uh, already, I don't know how many pages we pass in this book, but until now I see no knowledge to teach about Islam. Like, do you see anything really here in you? I don't see it. Now, when I assert that Islam is not a religion of peace, I do not mean that Islamic belief make Muslims naturally violent. This is very funny. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> if Islam is not a religion of peace, how Islam will not make Muslim naturally violent? A Muslim is someone who believes in Islam, and that, that who is the Muslim, not someone is born from a Muslim religion by parents. A Muslim, he believes in it, it's been his violence naturally because he accepts the teaching of Islam and he, when you accept the teaching of Islam, you accept everything. You don't pick up your cherries. 
So he, he, here she's saying, this is uh, uh, manifestly not the case. Wow. There are many millions of peaceful Muslims in the world. Where are they? I want to see them. You see, when you say many millions of peaceful Muslims, we need to know where, where we got this information from. Like where? In Pakistan? In Saudi Arabia? Even in the most, uh, let us say, uh, modern society between all Muslims in Emirates. Do you want me to show you how much this country is against a human right big deal? Do you want to know what happened to you if in Marat if you if you speak against Islam, go and do it there. Let us see how peaceful the millions of Muslims in the Emirat. So this is a this is for me a really a, a funny silly talk. Because there is no such a thing of millions of Muslims who they are peaceful. Uh, you want to tell me that Muslims are peaceful as long as you don't insult their prophet? This is mean they are not peaceful. You want to tell me they will not uh, burn you alive unless you uh, you insult the Quran? This is, doesn't mean they are peaceful. Uh, you want to tell me, well, you know what? Uh, there is a Christians who live in many countries, in Islamic countries, they are not getting killed every day. This is not peaceful too. Because why should be killed anyway? Secondly, they take their land and now they are minority and they are humiliating them. And if they kill them from time to time, but all the time, does it make them peaceful too? If a Christian say one word against Islam in Egypt, you will see what will happen. If a Christian say anything against Islam in Pakistan, in, in anywhere, you will see what will happen. So this is for me absolutely nonsense uh, education. Uh, this is why I really I reject <clears throat> uh, such a book to be a book of knowledge or to stand for anything, uh, except, you know, speaking... Uh, let us say someone is speaking his mind, his own opinion. If this is the case, I have no problem with it, but <clears throat> it's far away from the truth. Uh, you see, everyone, like you live in a building. When you live in a building, uh, you have a window. And from your window, you see part of the view which the whole building see. Let us say I am a person who face, face the ocean, and you are a person who face the city. So if I ask you about what is the best view you have, you will tell me about, ah, I have really bad view. I see only buildings. But yet you live with me in the same building. If you ask me the same question, I will say to you, I face the ocean. It's very beautiful. So how come both of us, we are living in the same building, but we have two different view? That is very simple. Because what do you see is different from what I see. So many who they are coming from the Islamic religion because they were inside the box, they don't see Islam really very well yet. They see only what they saw from their window because they were always inside the box of Islam. They are not, look, the whole talk about Charlie and, uh, you know, this is, this, there, is no, there is no knowledge here. For me, I'm not going to waste my time actually to read a book like this. Uh, books teach about Islam. His book go deep in details, in knowledge. Not books speak about Muslims killed this guy and Muslims killed this guy, but you know, or mostly speaking, all Muslims are peaceful. This is very funny because this is contradiction yourself. When you say Islam is violence, and then you say Islam, Muslims are peaceful. Well, this mean either you are lying or you are confused. Because if Islam is violence and millions of people, they are following it, it means they are following the violence. It's impossible to teach violence and stay peaceful. So this is very funny argument. Uh, you know, with my respect to her, I find that uh, her books is not really valuable for me. However, <clears throat> when I start making the video, actually, I thought I thought uh, the Muslims are giving her a one star review as always they do. But I found that the one who's doing that is not the Muslims. Uh, and I found that this is really, um, you know, I have nothing to do with Muslim giving one star. The book itself is not valuable for me. Uh, however, it's considered a bestseller for this week, maybe. Very weird. But as we say, advertising can make a difference. Like, this is how I found about it, because I was opening my page uh, to see about my book's news. And I found it says here, bestseller in women in Islam. This is why I click on it to see what is this book, bestseller in Islam. And, um, you know, I, I found that this is really not uh, uh, not worth to be considered such a way. 
Um, anyway, uh, uh, for those who uh, did read my second book, not my first one, which is The Deception of Allah, the second one, which is <coughs> Quran and, and Science and Depth, please don't forget to make your own review about the book. Uh, and uh, like here, we have 69 review. Just to show you how Muslims do review, by the way. Like, you know, always when you, you go and you, you have a book against Islam, uh, Muslim they make review, but actually it makes Muslim look more funny and more stupid. As an example, if you go here, <coughs> in my first book, you will see the Muslims, they are giving review for the book, but they never bought the book. <laughs> and I hope you guys, you will, uh, you will not forget to make a review of my second book and the description of Allah too, if you have, if you bought the book already. Don't forget to make a review of it. And if you are a Muslim, you can give it one star. Don't worry. Uh, people will laugh at you because they will see that it, you are not a verified person who never bought the book. Um, God bless you. And thank you very much for listening.